When you look at the natural world, it's clear that everything was perfectly designed. Every organism and component thereof has a purpose. Nothing is wasted and efficiency is paramount. Form follows function. Nature has long inspired people to create and innovate. For example, those pesky burrs that get stuck to your shoes are what inspired Velcro. Termite mounds have ventilation through a system of air pockets, which led engineers to design buildings that were more energy efficient. Leonardo da Vinci studied birds and developed early blueprints for flying machines in the 1500s. These are all examples of biomimicry, design based on the study of something found in nature for the purpose of solving human problems. So with that said, here are five different ways birds have inspired technology. First on the list is the peregrine falcon and aircraft engines. There's a structure in their nares known as a nasal cone. It acts as a baffle regulating air coming into the respiratory system during high-speed dives. Early aircraft engines had the same issue when flying at high speeds, so engineers took a cue from the peregrine and added an inlet cone to the engine to slow the airflow upon entering. Number two on the list is the woodpecker and helmets. Scientists have long wondered how woodpeckers are able to excavate holes into trees without sustaining a concussion. The most prominent theory is based on woodpeckers having built-in shock absorption to prevent injury. This includes, but is not limited to, a super long tongue that wraps around its skull, strong yet compressible spongy bone in the front and back of the skull, and a tough beak. A different theory has since emerged that says they don't have shock absorption, but the previous belief was the inspiration to develop helmets that contained a hard exterior with rigid yet lightweight polystyrene foam underneath to absorb shock. Number three is the Kingfisher and high-speed bullet trains. Some time ago, Japan's high-speed bullet trains were found to have a problem. They'd go through a tunnel and the train would make a loud boom. This noise was disturbing to wildlife, the passengers, and anyone who lived nearby. These trains had a rounded, bullet-shaped nose. The air in front of the train would build up as it approached and entered the tunnel. The compressed air created a sound wave, and as it left the tunnel, would expand so rapidly as to create a sonic boom. The head of the engineering team tasked with redesigning the front of the train was an avid bird watcher. He asked himself the question, is there some living thing that manages sudden changes in air resistance as part of daily life? Yes, there is, the kingfisher. When the kingfisher dives, the water slides past the beak instead of being pushed in front of it, which is precisely the design adjustment that the bullet train needed. Number four is hummingbirds and drones. Hummingbirds are nothing short of awe-inspiring. Their wings move in a figure eight pattern, allowing them to generate lift on the upstroke and the downstroke. They can hover in one spot, fly backwards, and can make sudden twists and turns. They have a very long keel bone, or sternum, allowing for large pectoral muscles that power their flight. Their wings are relatively short, which contributes to their ability to hover. Most drones consist of a battery pack and four motors that turn the propellers. Two motors turn the propellers clockwise, and the other two turn counterclockwise to cancel out the torque. It can hover, go in reverse, and change direction quickly, just like a hummingbird. The blades on this style of drone don't move in a figure eight pattern yet, but the hummingbird continues to be studied and a source of inspiration for drone design. Last on the list is ducks and scuba fins. 
Webbed feet help ducks to swim with speed and efficiency by gaining more lift and thrust with each foot stroke. Imagine if they didn't have the webbing and just had their digits. They wouldn't get very far as there would be far less surface area to push water out of the way. Leonardo da Vinci, again, and other early inventors took cues from the webbed feet of ducks and worked on developing the concept of fins. Benjamin Franklin made a pair of swim fins out of thin pieces of wood that looked like an artist's palette for his hands to paddle faster in the water. Then, in the 1940s, a man named Arthur H. Brown studied rubber and the vulcanization process and created Duck Feet brand swim fins. So what other ways have birds inspired technology that could be on this list? There's certainly more that could be added. Let me know your ideas in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.